Welcome back to Electrical Infinity. In this video, I am going to show you which bulb will glow brighter if you connect two bulbs, one of 100 watt and other of 200 watt in series. Here you can see this one is a 200 watt bulb and other is a 100 watt bulb and these bulbs are connected in series. The materials you require are a screwdriver and a tester and a cutter. So let's begin the series connection of these two bulbs. Here you can see this one is a 200 watt bulb connected to a holder and I am doing a phase connection of it as you can see this one is a phase in to the first terminal and this one is a phase out from the second terminal. So the phase out from the second terminal of the first bulb is connected as phase in to the second bulb. So here you can see a phase in is given and phase out from the first bulb is connected as phase in to the second bulb as you can see here. And a neutral is connected to the second terminal of the second bulb. To the first bulb, phase in and phase outs are connected. No neutral is connected to the first bulb as you can see here. So here you can see a phase in is connected to the first terminal. From the second terminal, phase out is taken out and it is given as phase in to the second bulb. And a neutral is connected to the second terminal of second bulb. The phase and neutral are connected to 6 ampere MCB for protection. Let's switch it on and see the result. So here is the result friends, a 100 watt bulb glows more brighter than a 200 watt bulb. This is because the 100 watt bulb has more power dissipation than a 200 watt bulb. Let's see the theoretical calculation of it, why this 100 watt bulb is glowing more brighter than a 200 watt bulb. Earlier in this video we have seen that the 100 watt bulb was glowing more brighter than a 200 watt bulb. Let's find the reason why this bulb was glowing more brighter than 200 watt bulbs through theoretical calculation. As we know that the rated voltage of both the bulbs was 230 volts. The power of the first bulb was 200 watts and the power of the second bulb was 100 watts. The brightness of both the bulbs if these are connected in series depend on power dissipation. The bulb which has more power dissipation will glow more brighter. The relation of power dissipation is PD is equal to I square R. So we have to find the value of resistance as well as current of both the bulbs. But before doing that, please note that in series connection, this one is very important point friends, please don't forget it. The current remains same in both the bulbs and the voltage is divided in both the bulbs we don't have the value of i and resistance of both the bulbs for finding that we know that the formula for power for series connection is p is equal to vi cos phi as we are using a resistive load which is bulbs so power factor will be unity cos phi is equal to 1 so substituting cos phi is equal to 1 in this equation we get the equation as p is equal to vi but we don't have the value of i for that we know that from ohm's law v is equal to ir so i is equal to v by r substituting this i value in this equation we get p is equal to v into v by r is equal to v square by r so p is equal to v square by r we get the formula as p is equal to v square by r so from this equation we can get the uh, equation of resistance as r is equal to v square by p and by substituting the value of V and P, we can get the value of resistance of both the bulbs. So let's calculate the resistance of these bulbs. Let's do the first step of calculating the resistance of both the bulbs. So R1 is equal to V square by P1. So substituting these values 230 square by 200 watts, P1 is equal to 200 watts. And we get the value as 264.5 ohms. And let's find the value of R2, R2 is equal to 230 square by 100 watts as P2 is equal to 100 watts and we get the value of R resistance of 100 watt bulb is 529 ohms. Hence the value of R1 and R2 is found. Now let us find the value of current of this both bulb before they are connected in series. Later we will find the value of current of series connected bulbs. So if these both bulbs are not connected in series, the current value we get as I is equal to V by R1 i1 is equal to v by r1 this one is formula for finding the current of 200 watt bulb so substituting the value of voltage and resistance we get the value as 0.86 ampere and similarly for 100 watt bulb i2 is equal to v by r2 substituting the value of v as 230 and r2 as 500 and 
29 ohms we get the value as 0.43 ampere so the current rating if these both bulbs are not connected in series is i1 is equal to 0.86 ampere for 200 watt bulb and i2 is equal to 0.43 ampere for 100 watt bulb now if both the bulbs are connected in series the current will remain same in both these bulbs how i can see is let us assume that these two resistance of these two bulbs in series one of 264.5 and other of 529 ohms so the current in this circuit is i and voltage so for finding the value of current we got the formula as i is equals to v by r1 plus r2 so this one is the formula for finding the current in this circuit so we get the value of current as i is equal to substituting the value of v as 230 and r1 as 264.5 ohms plus 529 ohms we get the value of i as 0.29 ampere so 0.29 ampere is the current in both the bulbs as we have got the value of r1 r2 and current across both these bulbs so let us calculate the value of power dissipation so the power dissipation of first bulb pd1 is equals to i square r1 this one is the formula for finding power dissipation of 200 volt but let us substitute the value of current as 0.29 square and r1 as 264.5 ohms so we got the value of pd1 as 22.4 watts now let us find the power dissipation of 100 watt bulb so pd2 is equal to i square r2 is equal to 0.29 square i square and value of r2 is 529 ohms we get the value of pd2 as 44.48 watts here you can see the power dissipation is more in 100 watt bulbs from the power dissipation of 200 watt bulb so pd2 is greater than pd1 so the 100 watt bulb glows more brighter than a 200 watt bulb let us find the voltage in both these bulbs as we know that the in series connection the voltage will be divided so for finding the voltage of series connection we got the formula as p is equals to ir so for finding the voltage across 200 watt bulbs v1 is equals to ir1 substituting the value of i as 0.29 and the resistance as 264.5 and we got the value of voltage as 76.705 volts so v1 is equals to 76.705 volts and v2 is equals to ir2 substituting the value as 0.29 into 529 ohms and we got the value of v2 as 153.41 volts here you can see the voltage across uh, 100 watt bulb is more than the voltage across uh, 200 watt bulb so we can say that v2 is also greater than v1 that's why the 100 watt bulb glows more brighter than a 200 watt bulbs overall here you can see that the resistance of 100 watt bulb was greater than the resistance of 200 watt bulb also the power dissipation in 100 watt bulb was greater than 200 watt bulb and also the voltage across the 100 watt bulb is more than the voltage across 200 watt bulb so this is why the reason the 100 watt bulb glows brighter so thanks for watching this video friends in the next video i am going to make a video based on simulation of parallel connection as well as series connection so that to see whether i got the uh, correct values or not so thanks for watching this video friends please like this video and share this video with your friends and to learn electrical infinite hit the subscribe button thanks for watching